Alright, hello everyone. And I'll be playing my favorite character, Kotaro Huma. Who, uh, as you may notice, I have at max level, max stats and everything. Time to turn chaos to ruin. And I love this voice actor for him. You only get him in this game, and I guess in Byers, but... Definitely his best voice. Don't think I need to check the shop for him, now do I? Oh wait, hold on. I think I slipped it hard, didn't I? Whoops. Let me just skip through this and go back. Time to turn chaos to ruin. There we go. Chaos. Appropriate for the most chaotic character. A clan of ninjas known as the Fuma served the Hojo in Kanto. Led by the mysterious Kotaro Fuma, their past remained shrouded in mystery. The year was 1572. The Hojo clan's ally, Shingen Takeda, set forth to capture the capital. On his way there, he lured Ieyasu Tokugawa's forces out into the open at Mikatagahara, driving them to the brink of destruction. Ieyasu's men fought back bravely as they struggled to save their very lives. Kotaro Fuma, a ninja in service of the Hojo, obeyed his master's request to aid the Takeda and set out to join them at Mikatagahara. Shingen wants to put an end to my fun. I can't have that. Chapter 1. Melee at Mikatagahara. Chaos is never satiated. I like how the narration says we're here to, uh, help the Takeda. <laughs> no, this is a three-way battle. This is Kotoro versus everyone else. Most of his- or at least a lot of his battles are like this. Oh yeah, I think I've got a pretty good weapon for him as well. Just attack and defense and some speed, because why not, I guess. Uh, that's his fifth weapon, Infernal Fist. I also have his fourth weapon, Thorns of Peril. Yeah, I don't believe I've changed that. I believe I've manually, like, upgraded the Infernal Fist, just to give them good stats all around. Skills are, I think, all maxed out. I think some of these can hit level 4. But haven't hit that yet. I think you have to play through survival mode to get them to light level 4. And do specific missions or something like that. You know, I guess it would be appropriate to keep having Kai. But yeah, Kai will stick with uh, Kotaro. Oh, there's uh, Thuronosuke Aoyama again. The uh, ninja generic NPC. Oh. 
Actually dealing pretty heavy damage. The enemy crumples before me. I would have liked my lord's realm of peace. Suffer. These are no simple doubles. The art of ninjutsu is afoot. What fun! The hunt is on for he who pulls the strings. I do think it's a nice touch that the doppelganger Iyasus actually have, like, their appropriate generic voice. This battle is lost. We shall retreat as well. Ah, the ninja path. I forget this is a thing. Only comes into play for three characters. Where you can take a shortcut on the map. Flee from chaos all you want. You can't get away. Yeyasu will be a good dog. A good, patient dog. You is it. Then I shall break your spell. And you with it. You'll find Kotaro is a lot more merciless in this game. He mellows out a lot once uh, Kai and Ujiyasu are playable. And now only one Ujiyasu remains. Is this the real man, or perhaps another little trickster? I guess I can't go back and get my horse. That it's gone now. There's a line with Tadakazu if I approach him. It would be more fun to kill Ieyasu first, just to see the look on Tadakazu's face. I like how that's Kotaro's reasons for avoiding Tadakazu. Not because he doesn't want to fight him, just because this is more fun. Also, I love the charge attack that uh, Extreme Legends added for him. He literally just skates on the enemy. Which is great because he actually does that to Hanzo in the opening cutscene. Oh yeah, and I will fully admit Kotaro is an edgelord. Stupid heroes try to order their small part of the world to their own liking. And there are so many stupid heroes. Stupid. Stupid. Though the difference between him and someone like Sandayu is that Kotaro actually gets shit done. I'll never give in to the dastardly Hojo. I've always pitied dogs whose masters dress them in stupid costumes. What? What nonsense do you speak? <laughs> you didn't think I'd spot such a little man in such a big man's clothes? He has a point. Katara's Muso isn't great for attacking uh, single officers, but it is fantastic for clearing crowds. Before me. I applaud you, Ninja. You have defeated me, Ieyasu Tokugawa. You do a poor Ieyasu impersonation, Hanzo. I'd recognize your ugliness anywhere. <laughs> it seems I've mistaken one Tokugawa for another. I think Kotaro is like the one person Hanzo will lose his cool around. Place, but not nearly as complex as the mind. Hurry! We must move into Hamamatsu Castle. Yes. I shall be your opponent. 
opponent. So you put up a pretty good fight. All right, after Ieyasu. Don't let him get away. You have interfered with my pleasures. You will be punished. <laughs> like, he wasn't really going to mess with the Takeda until they got in his way. Hanto didn't like that Kotaro called him ugly. Yeah, he's actually very self-conscious about his appearance. That's why he wears a mask all the time. Who knew? Oh, that gate is still locked. Alright, I'll go the other way. I'm glad Kotaro has fast running speed. Though ditching your horse isn't that big of a deal. Would you adopt an Ieyasu for a good cause? Kotaro would. However, the good cause is chaos. in us resisting any further. Yep, just straight up takes over the Tokugawa. Why didn't you close the gate? What do you plan to do? I'm going to play a little game with the Takeda. I shall be your opponent. This battle really sets the tone for what type of person Gotaro is. The gates are open. Do they expect us to waltz in unguarded? They must not think very highly of them. Attack the castle! Test your skill against my experience. The enemy crumples before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? The enemy crumples before me. Oh yeah. Ieyasu actually has a unique praise quote to Kataro. Destroy Ieyasu before I destroy you. Sakon Shima, Inin of Yamato. I've come to learn a thing or two from Lord Shinya. Everyone's okay with that, right? Do not disappoint me! Test your skill against my experience. Do not disappoint me! This battlefield is a glorious wasteland. The enemy crumples before me. Greater than I imagined. The enemy crumples before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? The enemy crumples before me. I praise your talent, Samurai. An empty castle. This could be dangerous. What's Lord Shingen going to do? The battle's actually a bit easier on you if you, like, don't destroy any of the Takeda. Or, uh, the Tokugawa, I mean. is a battlefield. Don't blame me if you get hurt. Your reasons are no mystery to me, Kotan. Work for ninjas is slim. You boast of chaos, but you're just as worried about the future as everyone else. 
If you need a reason, then be free to believe what you like. The enemy crumples before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Sakon's completely wrong, but Taro's just like, whatever. Sakon has left the battlefield. Aha, there's a quote. Hmm. This battlefield will be a glorious wasteland. I think it will turn up to expert after this. It's a bit too easy on Chaos. You can never tell with these games because it really varies from which one, uh, which difficulty is impossible and which one is still kind of too easy, even for a max level character. You ninjas sure do have a nasty bite. The enemy crumples before me. You're even greater than I imagined. Also, despite Kotoro's line about avoiding Tadakatsu, there is actually, uh, a mission to defeat Tadakatsu. Just your skill against my experience. I avoided doing it because I just wanted to hear uh, his line when you got him on your side. Is there anything you can't do? All right, fuck you, Sumo. I do love his R1 grab. It comes out fast, too. So it's actually pretty easy to utilize in a combo. So his R1 and Triangle summon some fireballs, which is much less practical. Mostly because of the delay it had before they actually shoot. Everything else about his moveset is pretty good. Got a grab for his C5, uh... His C4 is fantastic. His C2 has a guard break in the middle of it. Uh, this can hit downed opponents. And this also has a guard break. Why do you seek chaos, ninja? Why do you take joy in suffering? Why do you seek war, conqueror? Why do you take joy in suffering? Tisk, tisk, tisk. I asked you first. Shingen has a point. Well then, I guess I'll have to deal with you myself. The enemy crumbles before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Your horse is mine now. Sick of dreaming of ruling Japan yet. I did that long ago. That's why I thought I'd make the dream a reality. <laughs> This battlefield will be a glorious wasteland of It's a lot harder to win deadlocks in higher difficulty, so I kind of doubt we're going to be seeing too many in this playthrough. Katoro is a fun one where he just Pretend. does an Azuna drop. I'm saying something profound. <laughs> Even dying, Shingen has to crack a joke. All these years, and I couldn't even conquer Japan. Is this the best the great Shingen Takeda can do? What a waste of time. This world is ready to crumble and burn. All right, let's crank it up to Edward. Shingen was slain at Mikatagahara, and without their leader, the Takeda fell. Kotaro took charge, forcing the Tokugawa to surrender, 
and claimed vast new territory for the Hojo. Meanwhile, Nobunaga Oda was busy in central Japan as he battled with the temple Honganji and its allies, the Mori, for control of Osaka Bay. Taking an interest in the man who was widely known as the Demon King, Kotaro went to Osaka Bay to see Nobunaga in person. The Demon King? Here's one demon that rejects his rule. Chapter 2, Battle of Osaka Bay. Chaos is never satiated. And here we have another three-way fight. I do like how Kotaro Fuma's army is just Kotaro Fuma. Like, it's not like his army or anything. As opposed to the Oda army and the Honganji army. And I guess we have Rairin Shimozuma to replace uh, Kinyo, who no longer appears in the Samurai Warriors games. So the Hon Honganji army is just a bunch of generics. Let's see how hard Expert is. Nobunaga claims to rule the demons. Let us prove how wrong he is. But the man himself has yet to appear. I'll have to feed on his minions first. It appears the Mori reinforcements have already arrived. We will have to hurry to bring an end. I'm still dealing pretty heavy damage. Great! Lord Mori has sent us reinforcements and supplies! Go ahead and head over here to the left. I think there's a mission for defeating the guy over here. The Mori. They've come along this time to irritate me. I shall be your opponent. I believe advancing too far north will trigger Mitsuhide to uh, attempt reconciliation. Which is exactly what Katara does not want. The enemy certainly hit a lot harder in Expert. It seems to be the challenge in Expert is uh, not being hit too much. We're gonna hear that a lot. <laughs> now that Mitsuhide. This battlefield will be a glorious wasteland. Taste 
and you for seeking the peace. land of infestation. I know not who you are, but if you do not stand down, I will kill you. The enemy. That's cute. Oh, here's Toshimitsu again. An impressive display of skill. This match is yours. At last, the demon comes to defend his lesser demons. The enemy crumbles before me. <laughs> Yoshitaka, monkey, go and eradicate the rebels. Ithara likes to use a lot of big words. Yeah, I should have gone the other way, but oh well. Already going this way. Keeping up with me. All hail Hideyoshi. Hail to be Lord of Buddha. All hail Hideyoshi. That shall be That's preposterous. Gotaro just casually predicting the future. Because apparently he can do that. I'll carve my way through the land. Hello, Toshi, eh? Very odd if Hideyoshi to speak Spanish at the end there. Now, how many of you didn't realize that was a joke? I like how the mission to uh, protect the main camp for the third force from the second force. Like, this is just Katara's way of amusing himself. It doesn't actually help him. I also like how I'm killing both the people attacking the camp and the people guarding it as I'm accomplishing this mission. Uh, and here's when Ron Maru is just completely voiced by a girl. Lord Mori's ships to 
I have failed in my mission. Go ahead and not have this guy retreat. I'm pretty sure his army will still save the fight, though. Bye. This is the wish of every great warrior. The enemy crumples before me. All right, attack the Yoda's main camp. I guess Terimoto just takes control. Maybe stop the bombardment. There's no one else over here to get them basted. The enemy crumbles before me. Once you like uh, level up, you get like a temporary buff to everything, uh, and it also refills your Muso. Uh, one good thing is that uh, the ESP bar will still fill up even when you're max level. So you can still get that buff. Like, there's no downside to hitting max level. Oh, hello, Magoichi. Magoichi Saika is here. Does that sound heroic or what? I'm not beaten. I'm just going for a little walk. No interaction with Magawichi this time, but uh, Katoro has a pretty big interaction with him in Magawichi's actual story. And now I have a mission to defend Nobunaga's main camp. Why not? And there goes Terimoto. It takes a while before Terimoto gets treated with any sort of respect. Alright, fuck the horse. into that C4.
One thing Samurai Warriors 3 did right is that they uh, made it where people have two different enemy officer Don't defeat quotes. So at least you're not hearing the same line every single time over and over Why again. No reason. This is all but a game. So Taro's just in it for the lulls. So, you wish to die at Nobunaga's hands? You're destined to die before your time, you know. But I think I'll do away with you even sooner than that. <laughs> you make me feel safe, friend. That's saying something. Wow, rude. I was beating up your wife. Actually, extremely damaging on Expert. You full heal. And there we go. Hmm, retreat. Interesting. The enemy crumples before me. You may live, Nobunaga. I've decided I'd like to see you play out your fate. And your glorious death among flame. I wouldn't miss that for the world. I advance only as the wind takes me. I don't know if Kotaro still has his uh, clairvoyance in future games or not. But uh, if he does, he definitely doesn't utilize it as much. Mostly because he just kind of mellows out after this game. And yet another, uh, another unique stage. June 1582. The temple Honnoji in Kyoto. Nobunaga Oda, betrayed by his retainer Mitsuhide Akechi. Vanished forever in a sea of flame. I don't think about it, every single one of Kotaro's stages is unique. I guess this one technically isn't because Hanzo also has it. Having wreaked havoc in Osaka Bay, a satisfied Kotaro left after he saw the shadow of death looming over Nobunaga. Later, Kotaro's intuition proved correct when Nobunaga was assassinated at Honnoji by one of his own retainers. Following this dramatic development, Hideyoshi Toyotomi began a quest to unify the land. Kotaro, however, preferred the chaos. To ensure the continuation of Japan's Dark Age, he led the allied Hojo Tokugawa forces to attack Hideyoshi's Osaka castle. And to make things even more interesting, he challenged Hanzo Hattori, a ninja in service of the Tokugawa, to see who could be the first to slay Hideyoshi. Let's play a game, Conqueror. Loser forfeits his head. Chapter 3, Siege of Osaka Castle. Chaos is never satiated.
like how there were sparks when Hanzo punched him. Or tried to punch him. Yeah, now we've entered full what if territory. Well, kind of. You'll see once we hit the end of this. Right. Condition is defeat Hideyoshi. Uh, defeat either Ujimasa or, Uye or Ieyasu is defeated, or Hanzo defeats the Hideyoshi. So if you just, I guess, do nothing for long enough, Hanzo will eventually reach Hideyoshi and kill him. I've never seen that happen, though. I may actually, at one point, at some point on my own, just start the stage, do nothing, and then see if Hanzo actually does it. Given enough time, Hideyoshi's momentum will be completely unstoppable. If we fall here, there is no tomorrow for either the Hojo or the Tokugawa. Forward! I thought I'd level up my firepower. What do you think? The enemy crumples before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? I dare you to try to take my head. Is it vexing to you that your master should be reduced to my dog? If you kill Hideyoshi, I will send you a That's right, Tyler. Obey me. The enemy crumples before me. You remind me of my younger days. No matter what Hanzo does, it's what Kotaro wants. Then it will have to be open from the inside. Just as I thought, Off to the ninja path, the defenses then. here are light. Follow me inside the castle. There's no escape for them now. I don't actually think I needed to use this. I shall be your opponent. Putting up one last fight. The enemy crumbles before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Create a path so we can send units into Osaka Castle. Forgive me, Hanzo. I have put you through much trouble. I live and die in your service, Master. I shall be your opponent. We Hojo have grown powerful thanks to that ninja's service. If Kotaro assassinates Hideyoshi, the Hojo could rule the entire land. Did it. The enemy crumbles before. Ujitero is speaking a bit prematurely there. You remind me of my younger days. Saka Castle cannot be defeated from without. From within, however, find the enemy's storehouse and take control of it. I think that was Kuroku that showed up. Yeah, just a regular guy this time. Not the Thigh Lord he I was in uh, Kesson 3. Does that sound heroic or what? Can't stand ninjas. I don't think any of you guys are right in the head. I think you're right. <laughs> Figures. Anything you can't do. I'm not beaten. I'm just going for a little walk. Uh, 
I'd say that it pretty much takes care of things on the Hojo side. The enemy crumples before me. Where is Hanzo? Barely moved up at all. Well done. I suppose I could go and rescue Ina. I'll come back to that. Ina's barely damaged. Test your skill against my experience. The Toro jumped so damn high. You show great Look out! Here I come! I believe this storehouse changes positions depending on which character you're playing as. Like if you're playing as Hanzo, it appears closer to the Hojo side. Come true. <laughs> Ujitero is just stuck on repeat. The enemy crumples before me. <laughs> you remind me of my younger days. How tall is Kotaro? Extremely. Thanks, Hanzo. How nice of you. You may not like Kotaro, but he appreciates good work. I do like you can stop Kotaro's uh, charge three combo before the final hit, so you can just do the guard break attack, and then you can think, uh, follow up with another combo instead. I shall be your opponent. thought Hanzo was over here, where'd he go? Ah, went to the left. Have anything to say to Iyasu? Guess not. What about Hanzo? Guess not. 
All right, to the castle it is then. You will not pass through here. Oh, Maria. hello. Look out! Here I come. Have you ever even seen your own face? Oh, now that is just mean. I will not let Japan fall into your bloodstained hands. So speaks the man who makes the deal to save himself. I be your opponent. Suffer. Here is land of investigation. Suffer. Yeah, the dash attacks really hurt in this game. today it shall be your last the enemy crumbles before me you show great promise the enemy crumbles before me such unbelievable strength is there anything you can't do all right let's go ahead and make a save before i head in here You won't kill my husband while I'm around. For my master's sake, you must die. This is getting interesting. Nene is ignored completely. He is very unforgiving. But I do hit pretty hard, so guess it evens out. The enemy crumples before me. You remind me of my younger days. Katara's force are uh Hanzo's force also temporarily changed to assassins. So he technically wasn't on the Tokugawa side at that time. Is there anything you can't do? Ow! How dare you! Actually, is there something over here? I may as well check and see. Because I believe this path leads to like a separate upstairs. A thief has entered the castle. All right. Are, are you gonna? You gonna fight me or you're just gonna run? You're not much of a defense captain if you're running away, are you? Dude? Dude. He doesn't flinch when the shield is out, so it's really hard to stop him. What is he doing? 
Why? Well, that was just annoying. Oh, hello, Raider. I didn't even mean to grab him. That didn't really do much, but whatever. Even that raider's line was reused from another uh, another stage. <laughs> Raider Shadow Legends. <laughs> That shouldn't be as funny to me as it is. And just in case, let's make another save before I fight Hideyoshi. I'm gonna be saving a lot more on this difficulty. Meet Hideyoshi Toyotomi, genius extraordinaire. Now, what could a ninja like yourself be interested in my head for? Why? For no reason at all. Such is the essence of chaos. Right, as I recall, Death Element sort of has a problem in this game. And that it deals percentage based uh, elf damage, but it's based on the target's current HP and not their total HP. So, with Hideyoshi being at low health, like Death Element barely does anything to him. Wait, I haven't won the land. Yeah. And I have a skill with Gotaro that makes it where, uh, when he uses his move so everything is death element. The conqueror has fallen to the shadow, and now that shadow shall spread across all Japan. It's a big reason why I don't have death element his weapon on his, uh, fifth weapon here. Imagine if that defense captain wasn't hyper mode. I, I would give up. It would be over. There would be no chance of me winning, not on this difficulty. Still have nightmares about that stage with Kanoichi. Kotaro assassinated Hideyoshi, and the land was thrown into chaos once again. The Hojo clan used this chance to assert its power. Through further campaigns, they became Japan's strongest feudal clan, and forced even Masamune Date, Lord of Oshu, to serve them. Growing bored as things settled down, Kotaro decided to betray the Hojo and gathered together the remnants of the Tokugawa clan to attack the Hojo castle at Odawara. The Hojo are so dull, but it might be fun to watch them die. Chapter 4, Kotaro's Insurrection. Chaos is never satiated. And now we bite the hand that feeds. We have a very small army now. It's just Kotaro, Iyasu, Tadakatsu, and Hanzo. I think some Tokugawa generics will come up later. Hey Kai, you want to murder your family?
It's also fun starting in the enemy's castle. The land will soon belong to the Hojo. Ieyasu's efforts are so futile. What do you think, Kotaro? The hand that feeds has the most delicious taste of all. What is going on? Uji now! Run! I like how the panic music starts to play, too. Only for once, it's not playing for you. Off the castle. <laughs> if only there was no invisible wall, that'd be fantastic. Kill Uji Masa by just tossing him out the window. Some men, when given responsibility, rise to the challenge. The Hojo are not such men. My talents are wasted on them. I hope you enjoyed your dream of ruling Japan while it lasted. But you'll have plenty more time to dream when I put you to eternal sleep. It doesn't open. <laughs> Lord Kataro has given the signal. Karakatsu, take the front. Ina, strike from behind. Sanji, seize the storehouse. Kinda ruined his speech by commenting on the door that won't open. Here I come! The enemy crumbles before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? How would I react if in Samurai Warriors 5 Sandayu was secretly Momoji or uh Sandayu was secretly Kotaro? Uh It'd be lame, but I kinda don't care at this point. I kinda think of Samurai Warriors 5 in the same way I think of Dance Warriors 9. I just don't really care what it does anymore. This battlefield will be a glorious wasteland. First the gate won't open, and now cannons! How they get to reuse that line? And that was half my HP. I have made it to the enemy's rear. Their defenses here should be weak. I'm glad there's still a good amount of healing items here. Like even on that strict difficulty. We must endure. Reinforcements will be here soon. But we will have to clear the southern road of enemies. The enemy crumbles before me. You have progressed far on the path of the warrior. Look out! Here I come! <laughs> Unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? I will not let you get to Uji now. We've been surrounded. Look out! Here I come! <laughs> Oh, 
have to rescue every member of the Tokugawa, basically. I wait long enough, I think Hanzo will eventually uh, get those supplies delivered. I was under the impression you were testing the men of this age. I have no interest in them and their crisis. Only chaos. Indeed, you're testing the endurance of the land itself. That Agatsu gets it. The enemy crumples before me. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll open the gate first. I thought defeating the guy out front would open it, but I guess I have to open it from behind. And just kind of hope Eno will stay alive for a while. Look out! Here I come! Ah, she's the already struggling. Also struggling. We must hold out. Actually, okay. I only lose if Iyasu is defeated. The enemy crumbles before me. Well done. I was contemplating going south to uh, defeat the guy down there, so we got a couple more allied officers here. But, meh, they can wait. A generic or two won't ma make much of a difference anyways. This is the fifth weapon stage? Yeah, I'm aware. That's what people do, isn't it? I'm only following I shall be your opponent. Your assistance is most appreciated. The enemy Actually using Katara's fifth weapon right now, so I don't really need to unlock it again. Strength. Is there anything you can't do? Eh, I guess I'll go and rescue Iyasu first. I was gonna see about taking out the bomb corridor, but it's not really threatening anyone right now, is it? It's not exactly what you want from the commander, but okay. Look out. Here I come. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get these generics here, and then they're probably not going to move from this spot. 
They're just gonna be stuck fighting peons for the whole stage because Kato or, uh, Hanzo has still been stuck in that one spot fighting peons. I even took out the reserve captain there because I thought it'd be enough to get on the move. I guess you still have to wait for the reinforcements to show up too. What is Hanzo fighting on there? It's like one peon. He's like the rest are in the room like to the north of him. Oh no, he's slowly moving up north. He's being lured by them. He is actually defeating them. He just keeps getting aggroed to more. just have Uji now. I think I have to abandon my horse. I want to reach him. Alright, well, I guess I'm turning around. Yeah, I didn't realize that gate in the uh, left is actually blocked. Zero out of ten, Ujitiro's death line wasn't we did it. <laughs> I do kinda wish you just kept saying that. Knowing the defense captain is only on one side. So I suppose I'd just be happy there's a defense captain at all. And suddenly, the Date. Now this is more like it. Japan is up for grabs. March on the Tokugawa. Waste them and claim this land for me. Now here's a lively specimen. I dare you to try to take my head. Kotaro, why do you betray the horse? If I told you the answer, the riddle wouldn't be any fun. It's not much of a riddle. The answer is just chaos. May at least our legacy go unforgotten. The enemy crumbles before me. I praise your talents, samurai. Finally, our reinforcements have arrived. Oh, Hanzo is finally moving. He's gonna deliver the supplies. He's gonna do it. It's actually happening. I'm so proud of him right now. Yet another overambitious feudal lord? How dull. I shall be your opponent. The enemy 
And then he gets ambushed. Damn it, Hanzo. You have one job. Is there anything you can't do? I'll do his other job and save Ieyasu. Everyone cheering Hanzo, and then just never mind. <laughs> Look out! Here I come! The enemy crumples before me. Well done. Who was it that actually came to uh, support the Tokugawa? It was Yasumasa. Of all of them, they bring Yasumasa. Odd. I would have gotten for now, Masa. Though I think Yasumasa is one of the uh, the four Tokugawa, whatever. Anyways. So I guess he is pretty up there. Look Are you okay? Here okay. <laughs> oh, she was really, uh, looking out there for a second. All right, Hanzo, let me hold your bony hand on your way to the uh, drop point with those supplies. Hanzo, you went in the wrong direction. No, I must not disappoint my father. All right, come on. There we go. Look at you. You're doing it. You're doing it. I'm faster than you. Come on. He's gonna do it. Yes, and he's gone. <laughs> he just leaves. All right, bye, Hanzo. Oh, there's now Masa. He really just fucking ejects himself from the battle? <laughs> and we get stuck with now Masa in his place. Is that really worth it? I do love seeing the entire chat just cheering on, though. <laughs> Tadakatsu got a hundred kills. Nice. I shall be your Nice combo, Yasumasa. You are truly impressive. No, I must not disappoint my father. You know, you're struggling against peons when you have a morale advantage. Shut up. Are you stupid enough to fight against me? I will dismember you your whole land become mine. You've got it all wrong. I'm ripping you open and taking all of Japan for my own. 
Either way, something very bloody is about to happen. if she dies, right? No, it's just Ieyasu. He does whine for the entire battle, though. Meanwhile, I don't think Ieyasu has asked for help once. I meant to save there, but I pressed all the wrong buttons. Oh well. Conquest for Q F. What do we even talk? Conquest for Kyushu. Let's go. Odawara Castle fell, and the Hojo were destroyed. All that had once belonged to his masters now belonged to Kotaro himself. With almost nothing left to accomplish, Kotaro figured he may as well unify the land. He set out for the island of Kyushu, where his only opposition remained. In Kyushu, he found the Shimazu, Tachibana, and the last remaining soldiers of the Toyotomi waiting for him. They were led by Hideyoshi's former retainer, Mitsunari Ishida. As Kotaro prepared to fight, he realized this was the last great battle he would ever have to enjoy. Now pain and suffering shall overtake the land of the dying sun. Chapter 5. Conquest for Kyushu. Chaos is never conquered. Land of the dying sun. Nice. Uh, I, there are certain stages where Katara was an ally, but I believe in every single one of them, he defects and attacks you before the stage is through. <laughs> wow, you think there's enough commanders for this stage? Mitsunari, Nene, Sakon, Yoshihiro, Ginchio, and Musashi. Why Musashi? <laughs> And I guess Tadakatsu decided to not take part in this battle. Uh, so did Ina, but that's fine. She can stay away if all she's going to do is whine the entire time. This is the end. If you consider yourselves heroes, rise to the test. Fight me. Or simply succumb. We know this island better than anyone else. Let's split up and surprise them when they come. Forward, men. We will make this entire island give in to our power. The Fuma Ninjas. Not the Coalition or the Fuma Tokugawa Alliance. Your bones to dust. 
Ias, you've endured your servitude to me well. If you can endure all this chaos, there may be a prize for you. Now, cut off the retreat! So beat them down from every angle! Fuma, huh? I don't see what's so scary about this guy. He looks so deathly ill, he just might drop at any moment. The enemy crumples before you. The hero says as he is currently dropping. Uh, a bit too late. Anyone special here either? How uninteresting! I will simply have to burn them all. Prepare yourself. The enemy crumbles before me. Well done. Chaos, darkness. What insanity do you speak? Japan must be kept from this fiend's hands at all costs. I think it's worth the full heal, uh, Toyohisa. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Wait, Ginchio's in her alternate outfit. Interesting. Me, and I, guarantee you will regret it. I didn't know changing outfits would change it for the other character. Is Genjiro's blue from now on? Damn, she hurts too. I guess if you see a character in an alternate outfit, that will let you know I've already played their story. I dare you to try to take my head. The grab of his is so good. I only wish he skated on them for a bit longer, so there's a bit more satisfaction to it. Like, not quite Sima Zhao Iet's attack long, but maybe about half that length. God, Musashi hurts! Stand a chance against me. That was two hits and it was half my health. So let's, uh, let's just make a save here. I 
dare you to try to take my head? There we go. The enemy Had to be careful around him. Ah, there went the health. Had to be careful around him. I do recall, like, that Musashi and Kojiro, like, tend to deal the most damage in this game. So that's probably just because they generally appear in, like, final stages for a lot of people, and they're generally in hyper mode. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? Hello, second. It's been a while since I saw you. I'm gonna give you the gift of pain. The fact that Kentaro can uh, dodge roll in between his combos really helps. I don't think I can do that with other characters. That may be a skill I have for Kentaro. A most skillful warrior. Did I check that? Uh, move list, new... Personal, that would be it. Skills. I don't see anything that says it does that. Ah, there it is. Uh, facility. Evade while performing a charge attack. Yeah. That's just his default, like, uh, equipped special skill. I was pretty sure not everyone could do that. But it is a really good one. I think probably fighting the multiple nanes up here is going to be the most difficult part of this stage. Strength. Is there anything you can't do? Don't 
worry, darling. I'll hurt your enemy so bad they'll be begging for death. I do love her personality in this. You're in for a spanking, you little brat. Go ahead and save. I'm glad that grab attack gives you iframes. Ow. Got me down the red health. Fortunately, they appear to drop full heals when they die. Glad Hanzo's already here. May as well pick up the full heals, because he will eventually despawn. Now they're in hyper mode. Can't take much more of this. This boy. And they saw it dropping the full heals. Lend me one of your bony hands. I never die. Pretty creepy, huh? Aw, oh, you ruined my little game. Ain't Sonzo. I believe if I hadn't already cleared the way to get him here, I'd have had to do that. No fanfare or anything. You'd have to get one hit in before I went and confronted Mitsunari, wouldn't you? Can't take much more of this. 
friend. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> Why is this stage so complicated? Because it's the final stage. Well, technically. We still have the extra dream stage after this. You are hopeless to think that you can defeat me. The moment you let your guard down, that will be our chance. Glad you can make it. Watch your step. Test your skill against my experience. I be your opponent. Look out! Here I come! The enemy is I've done well. I actually kind of prefer how Death Element works in this game. It's like a double-edged sword, considering it works off of the percentage based on their current HP as opposed to total. Because then this element, uh, often called Slay in later games, just sort of ends up being a bit too powerful. Like, so good you basically have to have it on every weapon. You'll be fine, Yasumasa. You're fighting peons. I think that's the first death we actually saw this time. The enemy crumples before me. Well done. Yes, this is the moment. I give credit to Mitsunari for giving his this life for that tactic. Will be a glorious wasteland. Have everyone respawn and just rush Ieyasu. At least these guys aren't all in hyper mode.
obstacles before me. And three. Such unbelievable strength. Is there anything you can't do? May our house stand in the next world. Or a most skillful warrior. Death on the battlefield. Pleasant. His voice actor took a bit too long to say that line. On her own, Nene is not much of a threat. Can't take much more of this. Uh oh. Oh, she just buffed herself. He charged up. I was, I was expecting a move, so. Anyways, that's five. What's going on? Yeah, and then they ended up being the final boss. All of you perish in the ensuing chaos and let the dawn swallow you. Victory means. I forgot to mention how much I like uh, chaos. the dreadlocks waving on the 360 version of this game. In PS2, they don't do that. They're just locked in place. I think they have some very slight visits, but for the most part, they're immobile. Lord Kotaro, I congratulate you on achieving unification of Japan. My skill, my power, is unmatched by any other. In darkness, or in light. You have my unwavering. <laughs> Spare me your groveling. Yeasu, as thanks for joining me in this useless game, I give you Hanzo's life. And all of Japan. Huh. Go ahead and rule the land. Erase evidence of how you attained power. Make your own history. You can do that, can't you? The darkness. It's yours if you have the strength. Yes, this is actually the true ending of Samurai Warriors 2. Everything else is a what if. This is the only accurate one. <laughs> I do like how they play with that. Because as you'll see, uh, Kotaro's dream stage is just him actually fighting Hideyoshi, like, at Odawara. Like, the stage that actually happened. But that's his dream stage, so... <laughs> What's real and what isn't? Uh, whoops, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Which one changes the outfit again? Uh, X. Time to turn chaos to ruin. Welcome. Please take your time. Let's see. Uh, orb synthesis. Let's see. Do I have any defense orbs? I don't. That's disappointing. I was contemplating if I wanted to uh, replace those two speed boosts, because that's not really, you know, that important. Muso wouldn't really help. Life might help a bit. Eh, I'll just keep the speed. They're fine as they are. Thank you. I could have given him the range orbs, but I'm not sure if that 
even worse with Katara's moveset. Anyways, let's just go on to the, uh, the next one. Defense of Odawara Castle. A few years after Nobunaga was assassinated at Honoji, the land was under Hideyoshi's control, and only the Hojo remained in his way. Hideyoshi decided to destroy the Hojo. He gathered all of his retainers from around the land and ordered an attack on their castle at Odawara. Kotaro Fuma found this most amusing. His masters, however, were in a panic. They held a council to plan a response to the attack, but no one could agree on the proper method. Annoyed, Kotaro left the castle to deal with the threat himself. Welcome to my castle. Soon your heads will garnish its gate. Kotaro's dream, defense of Odawara Castle. Chaos is never conquered. Part of this, uh, this game having such clever dialogue is that they can be very descriptive with the, uh, the stuff they say. And still keep their T rating. I remember succeeding in all the missions here is actually rather difficult. But you have to do that if you want to get his fourth weapon. You already have, so I'm not going to try to. And you pretty much have to ditch your mount immediately. You cannot take it outside the castle. You have to take a ninja path. This castle's great. I can't wait to watch Odawara crumble and burn from here. I'm not as much of a fan of the blonde. Chaos monkey. Better men have tried and failed. Ow! God! That hurt so much! One hit from a generic and I lost 60% of my health. The Hojo are fools. They continue to deliberate even as we have them surrounded. Still, we must be careful of their pet ninja, Kotaro. The enemy crumples before me. You show great promise. No, they drop a siege ramp down here. I don't know what's taking them so long. Use the siege ramps to enter the castle and open the Ah, there it is. Yeah, I knew I should have just stayed down here. Look out! Here I come! They surrounded us. This doesn't look good. And bye bye. There was actually a mission for defeating that siege ramp, but most times you'll clear it before the mission actually shows up. And that can actually stop you from getting the fourth weapon. I've had it happen to me multiple times. I want to try and minimize as many casualties on both sides as possible. Would you be a deer and go and bring back Fujimasa Hojo's head? You know I'll do anything as long as it's for you, my dear. The enemy crumples before me. It's incredible. Take that help. Take all the help I can get. Look out! Here I come. I believe this stage is at the highest difficulty for the game. The enemy crumples before me. You have done well. What a pretty room. Let's tear it to shreds then, shall we? <laughs> Be careful though. All this wood can give you a nasty splinter. Are you Mr. Ujimasa? If so, 
I'd like to kill you now, okay? An assassin. Hideyoshi, you underhanded. You have a Kotaro. You don't get to call anyone else underhanded. We unified Japan. Forward! Unification sounds so boring. I much prefer Japan in pieces. Go ahead and make another save. See if we can stop Nene here. I smell explosion. So that is their plan, is it? I smell explosion. <laughs> I get that he was cutting off his initial sentence, but it just sounds silly. I think that was all the ones on the first floor. Uh, do I have to defeat the fire ninjas as well? But that tell me. Destroy all powder kits and fire ninjas. Okay. And I believe if I miss any of them on the way up, then the castle just immediately goes up in flames. I'm doing it, game. Hold on. I have an arson to prevent. The regular ninjas kind of like crouch down, so when I'm just sweeping the camera across the room, it can be kind of hard to figure out which ones are fire ninjas and which ones aren't. Okay, cool. That was the last one. Stop killing my master, that's my job. Luckily, I have Resurrection equipped. She actually killed me there. Oh, can't rely on that again. All the people Nene got the kill on me. I'm pretty sure Resurrection only works once. And I still have to freaking abandon the horse and take the ninja path to get anywhere. I have two people that need saving, and they're both in opposite directions. Well, the one is fighting three enemies, so I guess I'll save him first. Fuck that guy in particular. Alright, well. Ah, so we did it, guy! No!
Yeah, I think, uh... To do that more successfully, you're supposed to go after your allies and save them before you go and rescue Ujimasa. Because it just takes so long to destroy all the fire captains and actually deal with Nene. Yeah, this is very punishing. I don't believe I'll be playing on Expert again after this. Alright, guess I'll rescue the guy down at the bottom left now. Unless he dies on the way there. Which isn't a big deal. I should specify this difficulty is extremely punishing and I'm playing a max level character with a fully decked out weapon. Most of my other characters are at like level 30. A little under, actually. Yoshi, I see that Odawara Castle is difficult, even for you to handle. Oh, Ieyasu, you broke through from the east. I kind of forgot Ieyasu shows up. <laughs> or at least I didn't, I didn't think you did it this quickly. Can't take much more of this. I dare you to try to take my head. I dare you to try to take my head. I am in your debt. Reinforcements. All right. Retreat into the castle. I am not escorting you all the way there. In fact, I think he gets ambushed along the way. Oh, I thought you were an officer. Go save the rest of the Hojo now. Katoro really does have to do everything with these people. As a hero, you can just you can just die. You were not high in my priority list. Wow, he also brought his son here. The enemy crumples before me. 
I will never get tired of skating on the enemy. And they have high health, the death element really does deal a shit ton of damage to them. Freaking win, Ninja. rare I can actually utilize that attack and it be effective. Oh no, they killed him. <laughs> He's not wrong. Sorry to be late, guys. I'm actually not sure if I've heard that line before. to secure the east and make it the new center of power in Japan. A clever idea. What a shame you won't live to make it happen. They're not friends in this timeline. Let's go ahead and save. Come on. There we go. I love this charge attack. I hate that he loses it later on. Because it's so good for just like getting an enemy when you're uh, far away from them. Ow. The freaking dash attacks, man. Yeah, also it was strong enough to rewrite history. Oh, I got to keep the defense orb and stuff. No, let's not save. Oh, let's see. I think I need to reload that save I just had. Yep, there we go. How poetic that Ieyasu got the kill. Oh god! Back, 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 back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not do this difficulty again. How many times are we going to see me get that defense orb? <laughs> I couldn't hit the ground, so I couldn't even use my Muso to save me. Just grab this first. Got to get it last time. 
Fucking dash attack, stop it! I normally try to get the Muso officers last, but fuck you, Iyasu. Where's the other ones? Forgive me, my people. I lack the strength. Son of a bitch! That time a peon just like hit me and it was enough to stun me. And Yasumasa just finished me off. I do hate to have to go through this process just to restart. It's, as far as I can tell, there's no soft reset button. Because I've tried mesh mashing uh, back and start, and that doesn't really seem to do anything. Of course, you're following me, trying to get that dash attack in. Yeah, there it is. Alright, if you're gonna do this game, I'll save every step of the way. I will make progress, goddammit. You. It's like, I don't know they're following me, they just turn around and then suddenly... dead. Back start, L1 and R1. I guess I'll try that next time. And see, this is exactly why I didn't want to play with it being, like, too hard. Because I knew I could end up in this situation where I just ha keep dying to one attack instantly over and over, and I have to keep reloading and reloading, and it's not good content. You are an asset to this army. Thanks! I needed that. And the bad part about, like, having death element on my Muso is that I can't really use it to finish anything off. Because it ruins my damage output. And unfortunately, I didn't have a choice with that. You get a skill that, like, uh, gives you death element on your Muso attacks, and then once you have the skill, as far as I'm aware, you can't get rid of it. Oh, thank you for dropping a full heal. Yasumasa, you were the best of the four Sokugawa guys. Oh, you can actually remove the skill? Interesting. I guess I'll have to look through a menu to see how to do that. I wasn't aware you could do that, because normally you don't have to do it. Normally there'd never be a reason you'd want to, it's just that one particular skill is extremely detrimental on harder difficulties.
A little generic Yoshitsugu. Yes, I am finally on the horse. And I only got to be able to do that because I failed an objective and let the enemy get through. You might have potential. Show me what you got. You are hopeless to think that you can defeat me. Look out! Here I come! <laughs> Just wanted to get Sack on off of his horse. Just for safety. Also kill anyone, he's dead. The land of infestation. God damn it. Yeah, no combination of like buttons seems to trigger a soft reset. I, I can't remember if the PS2 version has a soft reset or not. Right options. It's time anyone tells me to play on a harder difficulty, I'm just going to direct them to this stage. Quite yet, Kotaro. Oh, I have an ambush from Keiji coming up. Oh, come on. The enemy crumbles before me. A splendid show of force. I'm glad it was. You who killed me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just secretly respect Kotaro.
All right, bring on the ambush. Meet Hideyoshi Toyotomi, genius extraordinaire. All right, time to cause some serious damage. I believe it. I dare you to try to take my attention. Do not be the reason I moosoed is because. Hey, Ninja! Could you tell Ujimasa to just give up already? Sure. I'll ask him when I give you your head. That way, you'll be there to hear the answer. <laughs> I like that it's changed. I used my muso right then just because I saw KG approaching. I was expecting him to use a dash attack. God damn! Just grab this. And whatever's in here. You know what? I'll take the time to heal as well. Alright, good. Back at full health. Everything's fine. We just save again. Yep, there's a the dash attacks. Yeah, don't hit me. Ah. Oh, jeez. Ah. And the AI is now smart enough to, like, recover and then immediately do a ground pound, too. So I can't punish them upon, like, wake up. Okay, he did call some serious damage. Yeah, I knew he would. God, just stay away from me. You all terrify me. Yeah, fuck him up, guy. This battlefield will be a glorious waste. One crumples before me. You show great promise. Ah! Yeah, don't complain about me save scumming when they can literally one shot me. As far as I can tell, the Xbox version does not have a reset. Like a soft reset. I've been trying. Trust me, I've been trying all the buttons. You are an asset to this army. It wasn't like full health, it was actually full health and he killed me. God, these people are terrifying. Stay away from me. Did KG... KG fucking heal himself! I'm fine with dying. I didn't realize KG could heal himself. Uh, so if I'm not aggressive enough, they'll recover. Great. Fantastic.
Why would anyone willingly play on this difficulty? I say is I willingly play on this difficulty. An exemplary warrior. Ah, the... Ah. The fucking... <laughs> Just no mercy. I accidentally hit save instead of load at any point. This stream is done. You show great promise. And save over this. Fuck me. Give me the Muso. I just I've got to use a Muso for when they do their dash attack. But then that means while I'm fighting them, I have no safety button. And then they combo me to death. There's gotta be something- thank you, Janelle. There's gotta be something safe I can do to deal with these fucking people. I guess just run and spam Musos. There's enough enemies I can keep recharging. Ah, uh, KG fully recovered. Let's just focus on Hideyoshi. How about that? That time I used the dash to just run away. <sighs> it's just instant! I didn't expect this to take so long, I really didn't. Like, a new expert could be, like, kind of tough. I didn't realize it was just, you get one-shotted. <laughs> you remind me of my younger days. Thanks, Sujimasa. How? You did this in your younger days? If I just keep grinding him away from the enemies, maybe Kai will distract them. Fuck! All right, move. And two defense would be nice. And the health. Alright, come at me. Land of infestation. 
All right, that's Hideyoshi. Is that it? Am I done? All is but a dream within a dream. The enemy crumbles before me. Okay, good. I'm not dealing any damage anymore. I've won. Yay, good. How deadly uninteresting. Keiji got to live. Good for him. Fuck this. Victory means nothing in a world of chaos. Ah, jeez. And that's the last time you'll see me get that that particular defensive orb. <sighs> About time, yeah, I agree. That last little bit at the end took as long as like the stage leading up to it, Jesus. And so Zelda never played Master Difficulty ever again after this. Uh, it's expert difficulty, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for trapping everyone in a time loop for a while there. <laughs> Keiji did cause some serious damage. <laughs> God, I remember the dash stats being punishing. I didn't remember them just like... One hit KO. Constantly. Steve Shishapowski. How do you pronounce that? Anyone else see that name? That was KG slash uh, Magoichi's voice actor. Paul Kanaspuro. Doesn't mean white gloves. Now, for once, I can't blame Supreme Captain for the difficulty. I chose that myself. Normally, he eggs me on into playing something harder when I really don't want to. Play Yoshimoto's campaign in expert difficulty. <laughs> yes, with his amazing moveset. Maybe if this was like Warriors Urchi with its weapon system, where you could just press square and win. Uh, I actually already decided who I was going to play next. I'm going to play Toshi EA next. The reason being is that I've been playing all the characters that were like the main on the box art. And so now I figured I may as well play the main character on the box art for Extreme Legends. I believe it's Toshi EA in all regions. Am I sure I'm not insane by now? Uh, no, I, I, I'm fine, I think. I think I made it through it this time, just... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not insane. I'm, I'm fine. After I play Toshi EA, then I'm gonna... I guess, uh... Start asking chat who I play next after that, because I, I really don't have a preference. Uh, the only thing I will say is, uh, I don't want to play No, because her Muso is exactly the same as Nobunaga's. Uh, Such a tempting invitation. Tell you what, uh, for characters like No, where, like, five stages are the same as someone else's or anything like that, I'll play, I'll play No's dream stage at one point. If I have, like, a, a short stream at any point, then I'll switch over to, like, No and play her dream stage. That's what I'll do for characters I don't want to, like... Finish playing, I guess. Uh, no, maybe the only one that fits that category. Now that I think about it, she just has a really boring Muso. Uh, Oichi's is kind of boring too. This is my destiny. Might skip hers. Actually, nah, she has unique cutscenes and stuff. And I believe she has a unique village rescue. 
Well, damn it, I don't want No to be the only one I skip, so I guess... I guess I'll play No at some point, then. Get, I thought there was more characters that had boring Muso modes. I think it's just her. <laughs> yeah, damn, am I really gonna play everyone? I guess I am. Maybe there'll be another 100 hours on this game. Jesus, I've played this a lot. Kill Mitsuhide. I'm sure I will at some point. Oh yeah, I forgot about Ron Maru and Kuni. I might play a few stages with them just for the sake of it. Actually, they'd be a good choices for like free mode. All right, well, next time is Toshi Yay. But that's it for this stream. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.